In this video, we're going to unbox our next snack crate, try the snacks inside, and let you know what we think about them. Hi there, my name is Carly and welcome back to my channel, Adventures in Yum. I am so excited to be once again joined by my sister, Carmi. Hi everyone. Are you so excited? I'm very excited. I'm super excited too because last time we unboxed the Caribbean box from Snack Crate. If you haven't watched that video yet, I'll put the link in the description. Also, have you tried Snack Crate? Let us know in the comments. This is the Snack Crate that we got this week, so let's see what country we got. Let's see. It's very exciting. And Colombia. Ooh. We're ready to go, so let's see what we got for our first item. Here we go. These are cheese rings. Ooh. Contains eggs and cheese. Oh, Ooh, that's fun. <laughs> let's see what they taste like. Real cheese, eggs not fried. That's good. Better for you. <laughs> Healthy. smell leaves something to be desired. Processed is the word that comes to mind. <laughs> Extremely. It reminds me of something though and I can't I can't put my finger on it. There's like something about it. It smells it reminds like me of something but not food. <laughs> no, it makes me think of like the super like super processed like the Kraft Mac and cheese powder but like even more processed than that. Yeah. That's kind of the smell that's going on here. So, yeah. I'm not having high hopes for this one, but be first. <laughs> Actually, we gotta like a donut. We gotta tap it and try mm. it. Yep. Mm. That's long. It tastes like Cheez Its. <laughs> if you had Cheez Its that were expired. Yeah. <laughs> but the aftertaste is not Cheez Its. Mm. It's very, very dry. Like, makes your mouth completely devoid of moisture whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And then, like, really, really hard. Not loving that. I'm not Ooh. a fan. I'm excited because it was cheese, but this is, um. Mm. I've had much better cheese snacks. Mm hmm. I'm putting this at 10. Yeah. And it is way down the line. <clears throat> Something very funky about that. And not in a good way. Okay. We're off to an interesting start. So let's go on to number two. I'm scared. <laughs> I still have hope. All right, these are called La Nina. They're lemon bacon chips. Huh. Bacon's fun. Wait, but that looks like a picture of a lime. It is. Okay. Let's see. I mean, we could potentially only go up from those ones, so I have hope. It's positive. Oh, it looks like bacon. It smells good. Yeah, it smells decent. Okay. Tap it, try it. Ooh, I like them. That is lemon. Well, lime. That. It's actually pretty good. It doesn't taste like bacon necessarily. Mm -mm. It's kind of like, like a chicharron. Yes, that's kind of what the texture reminds me of. And even the flavor. I like those. These are really good. Those are fantastic. And they're new. <laughs> I like these. I want another one. Another one, please. These are good. Are we going to put these up here? Heck yeah. Let's just in this general area yeah, for now. Yeah. Those ones are good. Started off really poorly. Those totally made up for that. So that's really good. I'm excited. Let's move on to number three. What do you say? I say yes. All right. So these ones are Tostacos Picante. They look like little corn chips. They do. They're cute. Let's see. 
I'm pleasantly surprised by that last one. See, I told you it could get better. Very plain. Puffy. It has like a puffy, puffy tortilla chip in the shape of a triangle. Okay, tap it. Tap, try it. Oh, that one's good. Ooh! This one's really good. It's just a nice, simple flavor. Mm. What is the flavor? It's, it tastes familiar. Oh, mm -hmm. It's not very spicy. No. There's like no spice. It's mild, very, very it's mild like spicy. It's of spice. Yeah, it's really good. Mm. I don't know what that flavor reminds me of. There, it's like not a plain, mm -mm. it's not plain. It's good though. It is. I don't know what to, I don't know how to describe the flavor, but I like it. It's kind of like a cross between like a regular tortilla chip and like a Frito with a little bit of spice, like a little, I like you said, that. a whisper of spice. Yeah. Just a little hint that kind of comes, especially like on the back end, it's just like a little bit. So where are we putting that one? Above or below? I put it below just because that, that one, I like the flavor. It has a nice, strong flavor. This one's just kind of like, eh, This one liked good. it and went for it. Yes. This one is like, it's good, but it's very, it's very simple. Yeah. So I, I definitely put it up in there. <laughs> up in there. I definitely put it up there towards the top. So let's try number four. Number four. What is this? I don't know. <laughs> okay, these are kind of like a biscuit. They say look little. They look like those little nuggets that come in the um. Uh, what is it called? The it starts with a G. Oh my god. Um, Gardetto snack mix. That's what that looks like. The it little, does. The little bread looking. It feels mix. like it too. But this is what it looks like. And clear packaging. That's kind of interesting. Hmm. Not very often that you see clear packaging like that with the uh, snack foods. I can get it open. <laughs> <laughs> I promise that I will never have a situation like you. <laughs> I don't open bags. I can't. It doesn't have much of a smell. Take one. But yeah, it feels like a little loaf of bread. But it it literally, it feels like a, a slightly harder version of the the ones from Gardetto's. Yeah, it's called their original flavor. Okay. Tap it. Try it. Is like a hint of cheese? Mm-hmm. Oh. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like these ones. Are you too? Definitely in this upper part. Oh, for sure. I feel like the aftertaste reminds me of something, but I don't remember what. I know, same. I can't place it. I can't put my finger on what that is. Hmm. See? It's very familiar. I'm not sure. I feel like for me, I think they're tied. These two? Yes. There's not one above the other at the moment that I would be like, heck yes over. <clears throat> That's good. I like it because <clears throat> everything is dry. I need some water. <clears throat> We started not so good, and then the other ones have been really great since, so let's check out number five. Let's. And it's Platano Natural. Yeah, last time in our previous snack crate video, she really liked the banana chips that were in there. I wasn't a fan just because it felt like a banana that was attempting to be a potato chip, and it was very salty, so. And I was fine with that. I wasn't a fan. I'll take this one. Enormous. Hmm. These ones are a lot bigger. I don't know if no the smell. smell is. Yeah. Like just natural smell. Just plain smell. Yeah. Tap it. Take it. Try it. Pretty good though. I like it. No? I'm not a fan. No. I like it. That's pretty good. There's like. I don't know what that flavor is. Banana. <laughs> it does not taste like banana. Platano. That's what it is. It's platano. I like a plantain. It's a little bit different. Okay. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's going to go in the middle somewhere. Yeah, it's kind of indiscernible. She likes them. I don't. We'll put them right there. You like right them now. better than that one. 
Not by that much though. <laughs> now that we've tried number five, let's do number six. Let's do it. This one's called Max Choco. Ooh. Looks like a hefty, like. Feels like a, it's, okay, so it's coconut cream wafer cookies. All right, so we had coconut cream wafer cookies in the last one. So there's some pretty high chocolate. standards. That was the highest one that we rated. That was our it favorite. Was. So, so let's see if we're gonna have to move these. But we're gonna we're comparing it to only the snacks in here, so we need to try and not be biased. Yeah. Okay. It does smell good. <clears throat> the other one was coated in chocolate though, so this one is much more of a, a plain wafer and coconut filling. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a go. Tap it. Try it. Really good. It like fills your whole mouth mm -hmm. with coconutty. It is but like in a nice way. Not she doesn't like coconut. Mm -mm. It's like so, a nice subtle, just aromatic coconut feel. You know? Mm -hmm. Like you, it tastes like you could smell it while you're eating it. Exactly. It's a weird way of saying that, but it's true. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> um yeah, that one's I like that one. It's very pleasant. It's, um, I don't know that I would put it higher than those three, though. Agreed. Right okay. on. Plop that right there. All righty. Now that we've tried six, let's try it number seven. Let's. Mm. All right, this one's called Choco Ramo. It is a vanilla cake with chocolate flavor coating. Ooh. It feels kind of soft like a cake, which is good. Interesting. Oh, it does. It smells like all spongy. Mm. It looks pretty good. Where is it? It smells. Is it not? It smells citrusy. It does. It smells like there's orange in it. Mm hmm. Sorry. Okay. Right. Not mad at that, though. No, I mean, it's like a pleasant surprise, though. It looks like it has orange in it. Look. It's a nice smell. Tap it, tap it, and try it. That's pretty good. It is. I don't like cake. I like this. She's not a fan around your cake. <clears throat> Except for mine. <laughs> mm hmm That's right. It's pretty good. I like that. It's very, it's really pleasant, but it's not, it's not overly sweet either. Mm -mm. And there's like this subtle, subtle hint of orange. The chocolate's very light. I think it would be better with a darker chocolate personally. Yeah. But um, it's still really, it's nicely balanced. It is. It's very good. I like that. I'm definitely thinking like right here. I put it above the Max Choco. Yeah. I actually, I thought it was a better flavor. I don't know, I'm kind of, I think overall, yeah, better flavor. Comparing all the snacks, I do agree, I think. We still like these the best. <sighs> or no, you like this one better? I feel like I might like that one better than like move this over. Like if I'm gonna have something, that one is the best so far. This one, I kind of agree. I, yeah, I really like that flavor. Let's move and it. And again, for being a sweet one, it's not, it's not overly sweet. It's not like um, when you got like a hostess cake and it's like, yeah, you know, like you're punching the mouth snacks. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we've tried seven, let's try number eight. Let's try it. All right, for these, there are some mini. There are two. Ooh. So we each get to try a Bianchi Caramello Imani. Hmm. Oh, so it looks like it's. Chocolate covered caramel and peanuts is the little package it looks like. That's what it looks like. Let's find out. We shall see. I'm gonna break this in half. It break in half nicely, but mine's not ripping. I got it too. There we go. I'm just gonna take a bite. All right. Tap Ready? it. Tap. Oh, I like this one. It's nice. 
It makes me think of payday. Right? Kind of, but with chocolate. I thought payday had chocolate. No. I don't know what I think. You have it reversed. I don't think payday has. Does payday have chocolate? You took a candy bar quiz for fun one time and you got like everything right. Payday's one in it. No, salted nut roll doesn't. Salted nut roll is the caramel and nuts wrapped around nougat. And I think payday is the peanuts and caramel wrapped in chocolate. Are we right, internet? Let us know. <laughs> we don't know. Told you. Dang it. I was right. I'll look up salted nut roll. I'm telling you it's not wrapped in chocolate. I don't think it is either. Yeah, do neither of them do. What the heck? Okay. <clears throat> Where would you put this? Hmm? <laughs> I'm just having like a moment here. Um... Probably like right here. I was gonna say the same thing. I like it, but not as much as the first, as those top two right there. I agree. I like it, but it's a little bit too sweet. I wouldn't want to have it all the time. Yeah. Like it's sweet enough where it's like, it's a treat like ever so often, not, not very often at all. Whereas the little cake thing, you could actually have that more and not feel as guilty because it doesn't taste as sweet. That's true. <laughs> now that we've tried number eight, let's go on to number nine. These ones are again small bars that we can each try individually. Ooh. Something These are called super cocoa. It's just basically a bar of cocoa, and looks like it looks like coconut wrapped in chocolate. Mm-hmm. Coconut chocolate. Mm-hmm. Let's give it a go. like kind of like a mounds but like more compact mm -hmm. much better than a mounds actually i like this one debatable um i don't like mounds i feel like that's on the i don't know how it has dark chocolate dark chocolate is superior to no chocolate that's in my opinion but <clears throat> i do like that it's, it's more compact it's kind of interesting it's interestingly enough, um, it feels like the same level of sweetness across anything that we've tried that's like this. Mm -hmm. It always seems to be like the same kind of sweetness happening with the coconut. Yeah, it's not hyper sweet or there's too much taken at once. It's, it's, a, it's sweet, but then the coconut kind of balances it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. so, I like it. I think it's pretty good. Where'd you put it? Um, I'm thinking here, here. I feel like I'd have that more. I'd put it below that. Okay, I can agree with that. Okay. We only got one tie so far. All right, now that we've tried number nine, let's go on to number 10. All righty. All right, for this one, we have combinations of different suckers. Um, I need some water before I'm going on. <laughs> You're gonna keep the suckers out. I just wanted to slam them for dramatic effect. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. All right. So for these ones, we have, um, let's see. I don't know what this one is. Lemon, probably for this one. We have a strawberry, watermelon, and mm -hmm. mango. So they're all suckers. So what do you want to, how do you want to do this? And they're all, they look like they all say bubble gum. Yep. Bubble gum pop. They're bon bon bum. That just sounds like it sounds like a fun song. Like bon bon bum 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 bum. Okay. Oh, this isn't lemon. It's passion fruit. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. That makes sense as to why there's a little bit of orange on there too. Well, you know me. I think I gravitate towards watermelon, but I know that you do too. So, what do you want? You can have watermelon. Okay. Right. Why? Thank you. I will do strawberry. Okay. Right. Let's just try the basic flavors for now. Gotcha. Ooh, it's so cute. Oh, that's fun. Look at that. 
Mine's just this color. Oh, so you got strawberry. It smells like, like when you're a little kid and you get like lip gloss. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this smells like. It's not the most pleasant thing to associate your food with. I totally smell that though. Let me tell you, this one doesn't smell, it doesn't have a strong That one scent. doesn't have a strong smell, this one does. This that one, one does. This one's it, definitely like lip it, smackers. It, <laughs> it does. It really does. All right, tap it. Tap. Try it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. this is good. I like it. Oh, yours is like that has seeds looking things underneath it. Mm -hmm. That's cool. It looks like a little actual watermelon piece with the little, the little bits. Oh, these are really good. <laughs> the little bits. <laughs> I feel like I'm going on a slight sugar high with all the things that we're trying. <sighs> this is good. This is really good. It is really, really good. Mm. Oh, I like that one. Definitely a fish that later. <laughs> oh, I gotta save it. Get to the bubble gum center. I feel like I get sillier as I get more sugar in myself, so. She does. <laughs> all right, so these. I really like these. I kind of want them up here. Yeah, they're really, um, I mean, they're obviously sweet because candy's gonna be sweeter than other treats, but it's sweet and like a, it has a very nice flavor to it. Mm -hmm. It's not like, a, um, I don't know, it's not like other lollipops where it's like, it's just like sugar and then like a hint of taste. It has a really, really pleasant flavor. Yeah, so. It's, yeah, it's very, just fill your mouth <laughs> and everything. Like how yours just like, it looks like it hasn't even been unwrapped in mine. It's like, you know, package torn <laughs> off. <laughs> Okay. wanted it bad. Oh, phew. yeah, watermelon. Now that we've tried number 10, let's do number 11. Let's, and it looks like the rest of our items are little treats, little coffee treats. Ooh. That are called coffee delights. Oh, they're put, caramel too. They put a lot of them in here. And it, well, I mean, it's like one little, yeah, there we go. Interesting. Para ti. Why, thank you. Not a strong smell. No, I'm kind of surprised because usually coffee stuff. Oh, it looks like a little coffee bean. That's so <laughs> cute. <laughs> oh, it's a little it's coffee bean. The little baby. things really that matter here. As you can see, yep. she's on her sugar high still. <laughs> it's super. <laughs> I've only had a little bite of each too. It's super. Um, it's super subtle though. It is. It's like just a little hint, but I love it. it. I mean, when you make a food, the shape or like the look, just like the watermelon one, it's just cute. It's just, I appreciate yeah. that. It's the details really that matter. So it is. Tap okay. it. Yep. Try it. Mm. Mm. I love coffee, so this is really good. I'm not even that big of a coffee person, but I like this. It's subtle enough where it just kind of gives you a nice little flavor. Mm-hmm. Where would you put these? Mm -hmm. I'm kind of feeling like I want to move all this stuff down. I agree with, yeah. At least this one. Yes, for sure this that one. one. These two? I'd like whoosh, those off the table if I could, but. Um, <laughs> um, I feel like I'd keep these in my purse. Oh, you totally would. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take one at the movies, like. <laughs> exactly. You'd be like the butterscotch lady, but with coffee. <laughs> oh, these are good. They are. They're very nice. They're just very... I like them, but I don't consider them a snack. No. Well, I mean, technically candy is more of a dessert than a snack, if you will. It is, but it's a snack crate. So. I don't know, we've got to rank them. Mm -hmm. It's included in the snack crate, so we're going to rank them as a snack. Okay. So... Think about them in terms of flavor, in terms of your how much you enjoy, mm -hmm. and if you would try them again. Mm -hmm. I think we would both definitely have these again. Um, for me, I'd put it right here. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. I really like it. I'm debating if I agree about that. <clears throat> I agree for sure. Above these ones need to be scooted down a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess in terms of like a, 
just a simple flavor. It is really good, but I don't know if I prefer it over these. But. <laughs> I'll give it to you. Flavor-wise, yeah, let's go with let's go with number two. Yes. Okay, and the only tie that we have are these ones. Mm -hmm. Okay, should we try these again to see? Let's give it a go. Okay. <clears throat> it's really, really hard to say. This one's really good too, but I'm willing to put this one right here. I would, yeah, I think it just edges it out just because of the... Just because of, like, unexpected cheddar. Yes, the unexpected cheese flavor. And this mm -hmm. one is, like, so... It says picante, but it's so subtle that, I mean, it's just, like, a whisper, whereas that one's, like, ooh, like, you keep getting that flavor. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Right. <clears throat> so, I think we're all good. We don't have any more ties. We do not. So, our top one is... Our top one is the lemon bacon chips from La Nina. Our next one are the coffee, I think it's caramel cream coffee or something like that. Coffee candies. Coffee candies, yes. <laughs> Number three is our Choco Rama. Number four are the suckers with different flavors. And then we have our caramel <laughs> and nut bar, which is the Bianchi. And then we have our coconut covered chocolate. And then we have our cheddar biscuits, which is what we'll call them. <laughs> And then we have our essentially little tortilla chips, like picante tortilla chips. We have Mac Choco with our wafers over there. And we have the Platano Natural. And then finally we have our cheese rings, which, no. Actually, these two for me are like, nah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Just like you last time in the, in the ginger biscuits were like a, uh-uh. Ooh, so, I remember those. <laughs> can still taste it. <laughs> If you'd like to look at our rankings in writing, then go to my food blog, adventuresinyam.net. Thank you so much for joining us today, and thank you so much to my sister, Carmi, for joining us as well. We had a lot of fun. Didn't you have fun? I had a lot of fun. We're so excited to try these snack crates, and we'll see you on our next food adventure. Bye. Bye. If you like this video, please make sure to like and share. I put out new videos every Friday, so please subscribe to my channel for more fantastic treats and eats. Thank you so much for joining me today and click right here for another great food adventure. I can't wait to see you for my next food video. Box. Box. <laughs> can't do that part isn't about to start. Three, two, one. <sighs> one more time. Okay, that was better. Take 52. Shut up. <laughs> okay, three, two, ready? Is your hair good? I'm fixing it. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. That's the one. Okay. <laughs> Thong. Here, put that off to the side because it's going to be in the way. You're in the way. <laughs> Ugh. Oh. <laughs> the sounds you keep making. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Sound effects. <laughs> Not good start. Everything's been good since. So I'm very hopeful. Let's <laughs> hope. <laughs> okay, so now that we tried number 10, number 10. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. I said it. Okay. That's what I hate about chewing <clears throat> hard candies like that is it gets stuck to my it well uh, it's stuck in my teeth. I'm okay with that. I can taste it for later. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much and we'll talk to you later. Or, and we'll talk to you later. We'll call you back. I started. <laughs> <laughs> Dial us. <sighs> we start off with, well, shit. How y'all doing? Oh my God, I love Leslie so much. I know.